everybody, so I hope you're well and having the most magical day as always. Today I'm coming at you with a really exciting video because it's another section of my Lush collection and I do want to do an entire Lush collection video but as it stands right now I have no idea how to film it so I'm just throwing in chunks and chunks here or there. So today is my perfumes, I really hope you guys are excited, I love Lush perfumes so much and I've been collecting them ever since I worked there about four years ago now, so I have quite a few to share with you. I have one, two, three, four, five of the liquids and 12 solids, so I have quite a few, but yeah, I hope you guys are excited and carry on watching. So the first one I'm going to share with you is the only liquid perfume that you can buy all year round, and that is Sikkim Girls. Now Sikkim Girls is a very floral fragrance, it's jasmine and frangipani, so it's really floral, really light and really delicate, and I think it suits a lot of people. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it hasn't got a squirty lid it is literally a bottle so I can't really just sort of spray it and go out the door I have to pour it and it's a little bit messy so I don't really tend to use this one all that much but it is a very nice fragrance and if it had a squirty bottle I'd probably use it a lot more. The next one is definitely one you could buy all year round if you are able to get to the Lush Oxford Street store and that is Inhale. Now Inhale and Exhale which is another fragrance actually makes up the Breath of God perfume but I really like inhale more than exhale. Inhale is a very sweeter incense -y type smell whereas exhale I find is quite musky and quite strong. This one is beautiful. Again it is in a dropper form so it hasn't got a squirty bottle which I don't tend to like very much but for the fragrance I love it and it smells incredible. The next fragrance is one you can buy from Paul and you can buy it all year round but only from that store. You can't buy it online, you can't buy it on Oxford Street so it is literally very limited to the Paul store and that is 29 High Street and I actually have two of them because I love it so much and I rarely go to Paul so when I do I like to stock up on these um, but this is basically supposed to smell like the shop now I don't know whether I agree or disagree with that because I don't think this smells like a Lush store personally but it has got a lot of ingredients which you will know because you've used Lush bath bombs before or you've read them on the packaging before so this one has ylang ylang, sandalwood, jasmine absolute, lime oil, lemon oil and loads of things like that so it's really really lovely, really fresh, really sweet and I absolutely love this one. And the last two perfumes are ones which came out for products so Lush when the kitchen was around they brought out some products and said do you want them to smell like this or do you want the perfumes to smell like this and everybody voted and these were a few of the winners so the first one I have is the Celebrate so this smells like golden wonder, bubbly shower gel and that kind of thing, really orangey and lovely and it has a squirty top which I absolutely love and this is just such a beautiful summer fragrance and it's really wearable and I think to be honest everybody would like this. It's just so lovely and easy and I really love the smell of this one. And the last liquid perfume I have is probably one of my favourites because it is Lord of Misrule and if you guys watch my videos you will know that I am obsessed with Lord of Misrule so much and... This smells exactly like the bath bomb. It's so good and I was luckily enough gifted this from my manager when I worked at Lush so I didn't actually buy this one but I love it so much. It's probably one of my absolute faves so absolutely love it. So now moving on to all the body sprays I own. I actually own four of them. The first one I'm going to share with you is the only one that is all year round and that is Twilight. If you guys know, which I'm sure you do if you've watched my videos, I love Twilight so much and this is one of my absolute favourites because I can spray it on my pillows, I spray it on my bed and it honestly helps me sleep so much. So if you've not tried this, please go in and give it a smell because it's divine. All of the body sprays do retail between about 20 to 25 pounds each which is quite expensive but I absolutely love the body sprays I think they're so different and they smell amazing and now moving on to three limited edition ones which came out this year for Christmas time the first one is snow fairy and snow fairy is the sweetest of all sweet smells ever it smells like bubble gum and it smells amazing honestly I love this one. Oh, it's so good and I can smell this on myself for hours so it's really lovely and definitely one of my faves as well. Then we have So White and again this came out for this Christmas and this smells like freshly cut apples, crisp apples. The bath bomb did not come out this year which is so sad but this smells amazing and again if you can get your hands on it please do. And lastly for body sprays I have the Lord of Misrule which again as you guys know I am obsessed with Lord of Misrule so much and I'm so glad it came out in a body spray because it is one of my favourite scents ever and again about 20 to 25 pounds so worth it and I got this for Christmas so I'm really thankful and honestly if I could get buckets of this 
I definitely would. And now moving on to the solid perfumes. Now I have 12 of them to share with you, four of which are all year round ones. So I'm gonna start with those because you can still get them. And then I'm gonna move on to all of the exclusives that I have as well. So the first one I have is All Good Things. I actually have three of these. One of them is in a handbag somewhere. And obviously these are the two I have here. Um, this one basically is a really beautiful kind of, it smells like a festival. Like it has a really beautiful festival smell and annoyingly I have used all three of these, I don't know why, but I really love this one and I like to have it on hand and stocked up because it's one of my favourites and the scent of it just reminds me of working at Lush in the summertime because this was my go-to fragrance in Lush. Next up is Curbside Violet and it mainly drew me in because of the colour, like look how incredible that is, but it also smells like Parma Violet Sweets which if you're not from the UK you may not have ever had before, but they're the hardest things to describe because it basically tastes like flowers and it sounds like it would taste horrible but they're so good and it's basically like a violet smell like really sweet slightly floral violet smell and if you've not tried it give it a go sticking with the floral theme we then have lust and lust is a beautiful jasmine fragrance now the reason i bought this one was actually because it's so strong you would smell it for hours so it's really good for traveling because if you're on a plane or on a bus for a really really long time this is gonna get you through and it's gonna make you feel a bit more clean and a little bit fresher. So definitely get this one if you're gonna go traveling or if you're gonna go on a holiday. It's a lovely, lovely jasmine fragrance. And lastly, in terms of the all year round products, we have Vanillary and Vanillary is a lovely one again. It smells of, surprise, vanilla and it looks like vanilla icing. Like it looks beautiful. I have actually never used this one, which I didn't realize, but oh, it's so lovely and fresh. And if you like sweeter smells, this one is gonna be right up the street. So now moving on to all of the limited edition ones that I have, the first one is Snow Fairy. I have two of these and I absolutely love this one. It smells exactly like the shower gel. It's so good. And again, if you love your sweet smells, this is gonna be so up your street. I'm really sorry that you can't buy all these anymore, which is really annoying, but I wanted to share with you the ones I own anyway. But yeah, I have two of those. And if you don't know what Snow Fairy smells like, I feel like everyone needs to know what Snow Fairy smells like, but it smells like the shrimp and banana sweets you can get. That's what this smells like. Next up, we have Twilight, and I have three of these because Twilight, as you know, is my absolute favourite, but... Oh my god. This smells so good. It smells like your average Twilight shower gel or the body spray and the bath bomb. It smells like all of those things. Sleepy body lotion, all the same smell, and these are to die for. And they're amazing, but just before bed as well, if you're struggling to sleep and stuff, these are so good. As you can tell, Twilight is one of my favorites. I love it. Sticking with the Christmas side of things, we then have the Rose Jam Solid Perfume. And again, this just smells like Rose Jam, like, it's a really lovely floral fragrance, but it's almost got that sweeter smell to it. It's not overly gardeny, if you know what I mean. It's a really sweet rose smell, and I absolutely love this. Um, again, you can't get this anymore, which is really annoying, but it smells so good, and if you tried the Rose Jam Shower Gel at Christmas, you will know what this smells like, but it smells so good. Then we have Celebrate in the solid form, and again, I love this because it smells of oranges and it smells like golden wonder, bubbly shower gel, that kind of smell. It's so lovely, it's so fresh, and again, it's another solid one that you can't get anymore, which I do apologize, but it's so good. If it ever comes back on the Lush website, get your hands on one of these, it's amazing. And lastly, for the Christmas fragrances, we have the Lord of Misrule, which Lord of Misrule, as you know, is one of my all-time favorite smells. It's black pepper, patchouli, and vanilla, which weirdly, I think I would hate that smell, but I love it so much, and it's so wearable, so good, Got it for Christmas. If you can get your hands on it, please do, it's so good. And now we're moving on to the final three. So the first one is the Comforter, and this one I got a while ago, but, oh, it smells amazing. It smells more like the Comforter shower gel, which you can't buy anymore for some really bizarre reason. Um, but yeah, this smells beautiful. It smells like Ribena. It's really sweet, but not Snow Fairy sweet. It's more of like a mature Snow Fairy smell, if you know what I mean. So good, love that one. Then we've got the American Cream one, which smells again like American Cream. This one's really full, but it's so lovely. American Cream to me smells like a holiday. So this makes me feel like I'm on holiday when I'm not. So it's so nice and so fresh. And last but definitely not least is the Yuzu and Cocoa. And again, this was one of my favorite smells. Like, oh, it's so good. It, again, it smells like a holiday. It smells like a pineapple drink you drink on holiday. And 
it's so nice but they don't make anything in this fragrance anymore which really upsets me because the shower cream was my absolute favorite of all time ever and the bubble room was amazing and again they don't make them anymore which really is annoying because I loved it so much um, and I don't have any backups either so this is kind of getting me through I guess but absolutely love this one and I don't remember when I bought this it wasn't overly long ago so um, maybe it'll come back on the kitchen who knows so those are all of my lush perfumes and fragrances and body sprays and all that kind of thing I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you've got any questions on any fragrance it fragrance fragrances let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely reply and also if you want to see any other specific sections of my lush collection do let me know down below I've done my shower gels jellies perfumes what else have I done I can't quite remember but I put them all in a little playlist on my channel so if you want to see them do go and check it out and if there's any more you want to see let me know down below because I would absolutely love your recommendations so anyway I'm gonna go now and have some lunch because my stomach has been rumbling throughout this entire video you've probably heard it because of the microphone so I do apologize about that don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not ready and join my tiny corner of the internet and I will see you very soon bye guys <laughs>